Around the same time that John D. Rockefeller seized U.S. media, he also hijacked U.S. medicine. When it was discovered that drugs could be produced from petroleum, America's top oil mogul ordered his army of propagandists to invert reality accordingly. Medicines used for thousands of years were suddenly classified as alternative, while the new, petroleum-based, highly addictive, and patentable drugs were declared the gold standard. After buying a German pharmaceutical company that manufactured chemicals of war for Adolf Hitler, Rockefeller leveraged his political influence by pressing Congress to declare natural healing modalities unscientific quackery. Rockefeller then took control of the American Medical Association and began offering massive grants to top medical schools under the mandate that only his approved curriculum be taught. Any mention of the healing powers of herbs, plants, and diet was erased from most medical textbooks. Doctors and professors who objected to Rockefeller's plan were crucified by the media, removed from the AMA, and stripped of their license to teach and practice medicine. Those who dared to speak out were arrested and jailed. When evidence began to emerge that petroleum-based medicines were causing cancer, Mr. Rockefeller founded the American Cancer Society through which he suppressed that information. John D. Rockefeller is duly credited as the founder of the pharmaceutical industry and the reason that medical error is currently the third leading cause of death in America. This is not an indictment against doctors. More than anyone, they are under the stranglehold of the single largest lobbying power in Washington. Every year, the pharmaceutical industry spends at least twice the amount as big oil to influence laws, policies, and public perception. Thanks to Mr. Rockefeller, the architect of American monopolies, no industry has more power over our lives than Big Pharma.